I remember his stepsister ended up walking up to me saying, Baba, why don't you just come into my room? And at that moment, I didn't really know what to do because my friend was literally right there. Yo, what is going on, you guys? My name is Baba, and welcome back to another really embarrassing story. So today's story all takes place back in my grade 10 year, and this was actually like towards the middle of the semester. And I remember in my social studies class, I had this friend of mine that was actually a really cool friend. He was really nice to me and always helped me with homework. And honestly, he was actually really, really smart. But for some reason, one thing I found really odd about him was that he wasn't really social, meaning that he didn't really have a lot of friends of his own. And that to be honest, he really kept to himself a lot of things. So me trying to be a nice guy. I remember one time in social studies class, I walked up to him and said, yo, bro, do you want to like maybe hang out with me and my friends at lunch? So, like we're all just hanging out, chilling. At this moment, I remember I saw a smile on his face because I guess he never got invited to hang out with other people before. And well, one thing led to another. I brought him to hang out with us. I remember when I introduced him to the boys or I guess the group of friends that I had back when I was in high school, a lot of them actually was really curious about him because, well, they never actually met him before, obviously. But not only that, when we started interacting with him, we started to realize that he liked video games and all the things we liked. But I remember one of my friends during the conversation ended up asking him, yo, bro, so I'm just wondering, like, do you have like any siblings or something? And at that moment, he froze. Now, the reason he asked how many siblings do you have was because we were all talking about like, you know, our siblings, I guess, at this moment. And when we asked him about his siblings, well, he went silent. He didn't say a word. He just looked at us and said, uh, I don't know. You don't know if you have siblings? And at that moment, we all realized that it was probably an uncomfortable conversation to have. So we ended up going quiet. I remember the lunch bell ended up ringing and me and him, we decided to walk together to our next class. But as we were walking down to our next class, one thing I started to realize was that when me and my friend were walking past a girl, this girl and him ended up having direct eye contact. It was really weird how direct the eye contact was. And it was to a point where it was very noticeable. At that moment, I looked at him and said, yo, bro, do you know that girl? Like, she's actually pretty hot. You you think she's hot? Yeah, dude. Wait, you don't think so? I think she's into you. She stared into your eyes. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. It's nothing. And then me and him ended up walking to our next class. And at that moment, I started to think to myself, hey, maybe this girl has a crush on this guy and this guy has a crush on this girl. Maybe I should make them, you know, meet and connect. So I remember after school that day, I ended up running through the hallway, basically trying to find this girl. And when I finally found her, I walked up to her and said, hey, I have a question. Uh, oh, hey, uh, yeah, what's up? What's your question? Well, like, you know, my buddy that you saw at lunchtime when we were walking past him? Uh, yeah, what about him? Well, like, I don't know, you guys, like, got some chemistry, I feel, you know what I'm saying? So, like, do you want to, like, maybe, like, you know, link up or something with him sometime? Are you asking me out for him? Uh, yeah, I guess, kinda. Oh my goodness, you're so gross. And then she ended up walking away. Now, this moment, I don't know how that was gross, and it got me really thinking, like, how in the world does that work? But obviously, let's just say, what I found out later was insane. I remember weeks go by, and I kept bugging him about this girl that probably had a chance to like him. But every time I would bring up the conversation with the girl, he would always be annoyed. And later on, I started to realize that he was really annoyed with me bringing up this topic all the time. So I decided to apologize and basically move on from it. When I apologized, I remember he really appreciated it. But then one thing led to another. I remember when we went on our phones, we saw that there was a new game releasing soon and that I didn't have the console for it. I remember I was really upset about it. And he looked at me saying, oh, well, I have the system for it. If you want, we can just go back to my place and play on my PlayStation. Uh, okay, cool. Your place? Yeah. Uh, if you're down, I don't know. Yeah, I'm down. I I'm, I'll come over. I remember after school came around and me, I was excited to finally go play this new game. So me and him, we ended up walking from the front of the school to basically all the way to his house. And when we finally got to his house, I remember he ended up walking up to the door and unlocking the front door. And right as he unlocked it, opened the door for me out of nowhere, I ended up seeing the girl that I thought he had a crush on. So at that moment, I'm like, wait a minute, she's here. Wait, is this what you wanted to show me, bro? Are you guys like actually a thing the whole time? And at that moment, this girl looks at me saying, oh my goodness, you still haven't told him? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, well, Bubba, I'm his stepsister. Oh, is what I said. And I did not know what to mention afterwards. I started to feel like a real dummy, but one thing's for sure, my mind was blown. The whole time, the whole reason they had eye contact and they were being really weird with each other and why this guy didn't like talking about his siblings was because his sibling was literally a stepsister that was super attractive. My mind was blown. And I remember I ended up looking at both of them saying, so like, I have a question. Since you guys are like, you know, step siblings, like, do you guys like do it? Bubba, you're actually weird. And she ended up going upstairs. At that moment, I decided to just like, you know, stop making jokes about it because obviously, yeah, I guess it was pretty weird what I was saying. And then one thing led to another, me and my friend, we ended up going upstairs to his bedroom and we started playing the new game. I mean, him, we ended up going through a couple missions, but I remember partway through, I had to go to the bathroom. So I remember I ended up getting up and I started heading towards the hallway where the bathroom was. But right before I got to the bathroom door, I remember I ended up listening in on a 
stepsister's bedroom and I ended up hearing her talking about me. She was saying things like, oh my goodness, wait, you're telling me he's like, he has like a massive eggplant? Like, are you serious? There's no way. Guys, well, he's literally in my house right now. Should I try something? Well, I didn't know it was that Bubba. I thought he was like another Bubba. I don't know. The name seems common. And at that moment, I didn't know if I should walk in there and just start doing it or should I just leave? Honestly, I didn't want to be disrespectful. So I remember I ended up basically going to the bathroom and right as I came out of the bathroom, no joke, I ended up seeing the girl come up to me and say, hey, Bubba, I didn't see you there. Uh, well, yeah, I just came out of the bathroom. Okay, well, what are you doing right now? Uh, well, I was gonna head back to your stepbro's bedroom and just play video games with him. Why? What's up? Well, like, I don't know. I was wondering, like, do you want to, like, maybe come into my room? At that moment, I didn't know what to say. And I remember as she asked me that question, I saw my homie that was in his room pop his head out and kind of started listening in. And honestly, I did not know what to do. And I was super awkwarded out to the point where I remember I ended up looking at him and I ended up looking at her. And then one thing led to another. I ended up just saying, uh, maybe later if you're down. I remember at that moment, he ends up putting his head back into the bedroom and slamming his door shut. And at that moment, I remember this girl looks at me and says, well, it seems like he doesn't want to hang out with you anymore. So do you want to come into my room now? You know what? Sure. Why not? And at that moment, I ended up going into her bedroom and I am not going to lie to you guys. Yeah. I ended up doing the Duvel's Tango with this guy's hot stepsister. I am not joking. I don't regret it, but at the same time, I did feel kind of bad doing it. But like I said, back when I was in grade 10, I was a major player and well, this shouldn't have been a surprise. But going on with the story, I remember the next day came around and basically his stepsister was like always like looking at me through the hallways and stuff and flirting with me. And me, when I went to my social studies class, I remember I ended up seeing her stepbrother, which was originally my friend. And I went up to him and said, yo, bro, if you want to talk about yesterday, like I'm down to, but uh, there's really nothing to talk about, bro. Like you went and did my stepsister. Yeah. But like, you know, like she was asking for it. You know what? It's whatever, man. As long as you don't tell anyone she's my stepsister, I don't really care what you do with her. We can still be friends. When he said that, I am not going to lie to you guys. Every week I ended up going back to his place, playing video games with him and then doing the devil's tango with his stepsister. This only lasted for a couple months until, well, the secret came out that he had a hot stepsister and everyone started going to him just to get to his sister. So obviously things were really weird. But at the same time, if you guys had a really hot stepsister, would you keep her a secret? If you would, then fall for more embarrassing stories. Peace out, guys.